Hello everyone, welcome to this video and in this video I'm going to show you how you can fix if your iPhone touch screen is just not working. Basically you're trying to just touch your screen and it's just not responding at all. Well if that is currently happening to you then in this video I got 4 easy ways in order to fix that. Fix number 1 is going to be really obvious but what we're going to do is force restart our iPhone. So in order to do this, what you need to do is press the volume up button really quickly, then volume down and then hold the power button. So we're going to do it just like this, up, down and then hold the power button and just keep on holding till the uh, basically screen goes black. So that shouldn't take more than just a few seconds in order to go black. So just keep on holding just like that. And now it will automatically restart your phone again. So while that is happening, uh, you can just wait and once it restarted, your touch screen may be working again. Now, if it's still not working, the second thing I would recommend doing is just grabbing one of those cloths, basically you get with your glasses. And what you can simply do is just make sure that your entire screen is completely clean. We all know that one, when you have water or a lot of dust over on your screen, it will sometimes just do really weird things or it will just not respond at all. So what you basically want to do is just make sure that your entire screen is completely clear. And what I also would recommend is just removing your case from your phone and also removing your screen protector because if there may be a lot of dust in your screen protector or a lot of water under your screen protector that you may not even be able to see it could still cause issues with touch screen not working so i'll recommend removing your screen protector and your case and uh, maybe then try again to see if it basically works now if it's still not working then the third thing i would simply recommend doing is basically grabbing a charger just like this and you want to, of course, put that uh, so it's actually going to charge. So just put it uh, basically just like this. Make sure that your phone is going to charge. And then what you do simply want to do is just restart your entire phone, but you don't want it to boot up again. So you want it completely dead, basically. So you can just hold the volume up button and then the power button. And then you can just slide it off if that's not working. What you can simply do is hold the power button a really long time. It will also turn off. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to just wait an hour or two hours while it's on a charger completely dead basically. And that could sometimes fix issues as well with your iPhone including the uh, touch screen is not responding. So that's just what you're going to do. So you're going to put it on the charger completely dead and just wait a few hours and then you can reboot it again to see if it worked. Now, if that also did not uh, basically fix the issue, then there may or may not be something wrong with your phone. And in order to basically fix that, what you can simply do is may or may not check if your iPhone uh, maybe is something wrong with it. So what you can do is you can first of all see if there's a recall program for your device right now. We can see that if you have an iPhone 12 or 12 Pro, you will literally be able to get a completely free new one because there's just something wrong with that device. And that's also with the Apple Watch Series 6. We can see that it's currently has a black screen issue. And if that's happening to you, you can literally get a completely free new one. So you always want to make sure to check that out. Now, if there's no recall program for it, then you can just go to an Apple store and make sure to get it fixed there. And that should also definitely fix the issue because there's a big chance that maybe you've dropped your phone and that could also uh, cause issues with the, uh, basically the touch screen not working. And that's basically all I have for you guys right now. So if you learned something from this video, then please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel. And I hope I will see you in the next YouTube tutorial video.